Alright everyone, so I got a new Jaguar CD game in the mail today. Actually, I was supposed to get it a couple days ago, but uh, apparently I wasn't home when they tried to deliver. For some reason I needed a signature, even though when I thought I bought the game, it didn't really require one. But yeah, anyway, um, here it is. It's uh, Alice's Mom's Rescue for the Jaguar CD. That is right. This is a brand new game for the Jaguar CD. Now, if you watch other channels, you might notice that this game is kind of familiar. Um, Adam Korlick over at Fig Figure Out Productions actually has a Dreamcast version. This is actually a port. And apparently, uh, uh, this uh, developer uh, is pouring this game over to multiple... Uh, systems which is actually kind of cool if you ask me um, it's a side-scrolling platformer which uh, ironically for the Jaguar console itself there's only a couple of really good ones um, actually the only two good ones for the system really actually actually when I think about it there might be only two yeah this actually uh, yeah, I think there's only two. Uh, Rayman and uh, Zul 2 are the only two uh, side-scrollers that I'm aware of. So there's actually a third one now. And now, even though this is not a official release, it is actually kind of cool that there are people out there producing new games for the system. It's And I'll be honest with you, this is part of the reason why I wanted a Jaguar CD originally. It wasn't really because for the official release games for it, because honestly there weren't that many. But for the fact that as a whole, you know, the, the Jaguar console itself, there's still a uh, dedicated uh, fan base and, and um, developers making homebrew stuff for it. And this is my first one to pick up. So uh, let's uh, open up the cover, the case. And uh, let's uh, take this out. So, uh, do I really have to do a jump cut? Uh, no. All right. So here it is. Let's uh, open this up. Ooh. Now, you may be thinking, it's like, okay, this is a homebrew, so someone did it out of their basement or something. These are professionally pressed CDs, okay? This is not just like buying um, blank CDs and then burning the images on here and then just uh, printing out labels. No, this is like professional stuff here. I mean, this, this is a press CD. There's, there's no question about that. And let's take a look at the manual. So that's the manual. So yeah, the whole point of this is to play the game. So why don't we go ahead and do that? All right, so I'm booting up the Jaguar. And let's play some Alice's Mom's Return. This is run on actual hardware. This is not emulation or using the Windows PC. I'm, this is coming straight from the Jaguar. And uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. So let's see. Uh, looks like it's got some different languages. Let's uh, select that. So that's the boot up, or the title screen. And what's what's kind of cool about this is that because if you're using the Jaguar CD, 
kind of makes sense to use the memory track, which is the memory card for the system. Supports it, so and I do have that, so I don't have to worry about just trying to play this game in one through. Now, I've seen this game being played on other systems, and from the looks of it, and the way the game runs, seems very similar, which is pretty impressive. Even though this game is a very simple looking game, you know, it's all 2D stuff, um, but... So now I'm playing. Guess I'm not supposed to hit that. And. Okay. So yeah, I guess this is supposed to be a uh, side-scrolling puzzle type of thing. Okay, I guess I can't go in there. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to to buy like a brand new game for a add-on for a system that didn't really sell all too well, which is which is what I really like about the homebrew community. It's like it doesn't really matter what system you have or what systems out there. Some people out there just want to just develop games for those systems just for the hell of it, which is pretty cool. And the game controls well. You know, there's, uh, you know, no uh, control issues that I can think of. Okay, so options to pause. And pretty much the way the button layout works is similar to like a Sonic the Hedgehog. So you got the D-pad to move. Well, in terms of the controls. Uh, a, B, and C, all jumps. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, let's try this one more time, then I'll call it quits for this video. I'll jump over here. And what's really cool about this game is that unlike most uh, homebrew games that came out for the Jaguar, this one's actually uh, affordable. So like some of the other ones, because they have to produce cartridges they don't really make all that many of them you know they're not exactly cheap okay I'm gonna try one more time so I was kinda of talking there 
But this one only cost me, uh, no... How much did I pay for? It was under $30. It wasn't that much. Which, I'm probably guessing this game didn't really cost all that much to produce. Since the game is available for other systems. So they probably just ported it over to the system real quickly. And most of the money went into actually producing the CDs and the case for it. And it's pretty smart how they... Uh, how they ported this game over in terms of hang on okay sweet got past it but yeah it's pretty cool how you actually have multiple options so even though even though you you know even if someone doesn't have like the actual CD add-on for it if you have a skunk board you can still play this game I need to get two keys here but yeah like I was saying it's pretty cool how you someone can just buy this game and regardless if they have a Jaguar CD or if they have the skunk board or hey just play it on the PC you can go ahead and play it which is pretty cool Music's not bad either. Alright, I have the green keys. So I have to go to the one with the green door. Alright. But yeah, this is not a particularly challenging game. You know, it is a... It's, it's kind of weird because a lot of the homebrew games out there, you know, they tend to be more um, either serious types of games or more men focus this is one of these cases where it's really more focused towards like younger girls see if I can try to get through this level. So that was uh, Alice's mom's return for the Jaguar CD. Uh, this game is also, I know it's available for the Dreamcast, so if, if you have a Dreamcast, you can get it on there. But if you do have a Jaguar CD, uh, go ahead and pick this up. Uh, support games like this. You know, if, um, you know, if there's enough people that buys these kinds of games for a system like the Jaguar, for example, well, you'll start seeing more homebrew games out there. And with, you know, prices for, you know, producing CDs is very cheap, well, it might be feasible for other people to port games over to the system, which is pretty cool. And the fact that the Jaguar CD itself only has about like 13 games for it, so anyone out there that does have a Jaguar CD that wants new games for the CD add-on, um, go ahead and pick this up. 
I think it's worth it. So yeah, that's uh, that's Alice's mom's return. Uh, like always, have a good one. Like this video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Leave comments down below. And share this video to all your friends. And like always, have a good one.